Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. So we're gonna jump right in today. I am going to test this M1 latex paint additive and extender to see how it holds up in a Dutch pour. So all of the paints are already mixed except for one. I thought I would do one with you to show you how it's done. Um, I have in this cup about a tablespoon of Prussian blue. So into that Prussian blue, I'm going to add a half a cap full of the M1. So I would say that's about, I don't know, a tablespoon. The thing is, is I'm going to add it slowly because again, it is a water consistency. It's as thin as water. It looks like water tinted with blue. Um, and if because I have a thicker paint that I'm using, if I add it in all at once, it's going to clump. So a little bit at a time. And then I will add the remaining amount in. Um, what I also did is I added water to thin them down the rest of the way. So you got to think of this M1, not like Floetrol. It's not, uh, you know, one part paint, two parts Floetrol type of thing. Uh, think of this as just an additive that you're wanting to coat your paint with. We'll, we'll say it like that. So a cap full is plenty for this. Now, by all means, if you wanted to thin it down all the way with this, you could. That other painting I did in the last video is drying fine. It's an ugly painting, but it's drying fine. There's no cracking, no, no crazing. And maybe in a minute here, I could pull it out and show it to you. Um, but so far, everything's fine. So I think it's a go. Now, the reason why I wanted to test this again was to see if in fact we can get some crazy reactions with different brand paints, uh, different bodied paints. So I'm using a mixture of those. Now I just added a tablespoon of water into this. So we have a tablespoon of paint, a tablespoon of the M1 and a tablespoon of water. And let's see what this consistency is like and uh, we'll take it from there. I wanted to do one color with you. I don't have to do all the colors though because it's just a repeat, same thing over and over. Now, I would not recommend using a product like a uh, fluid type paint with this product only because fluid paints are much more thinner. And I'm not talking about um, you know, is this a fluid? No, this is a flow acrylic. The little golden bottles that are very runny, I would not recommend that because it's just going to be like water. You're, I mean, you can try to do something with it, but I don't think anything's going to hold up like that. So I would definitely recommend a medium body paint like this if you're going to be using this product. And um, we'll see how it does. So that's still a little bit too thick, so I'm going to add in approximately a teaspoon worth of paint. And I know I'm blocking with my hand here. It's hard to see this color because it's so dark. Maybe if I put my flash on, you'll be able to see better. There we go. Oops, sorry about that. So you see how runny that is? That would be perfect. Okay. So I have the Prussian blue. And I'll just leave my flash on for you. Now these paints have been sitting for about an hour. So I noticed they got a little bit thicker. So I may have to add a couple of drops of water. But this is Pebio Studio Acrylics uh, Green Blue. Then I have Bright Aqua Green. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, I thought that was a hair and it wasn't. It was just unmixed. Now this is too thick. I have to put some water in this to... I may not have even added water to this one now that I think about it. Tell you, my mind is in the gutter. Not in the gutter. It's just gone because I've been resining and resining and resining for days here. Um, if you want an auction painting, the first round are being shipped out tonight. And uh, they should all be shipped out by this upcoming Monday. And they came out beautifully. Okay, so can you see that? It's hard to show the flow with the little sticks, but there you have it. So I have the bright aqua green. Then I have, uh, what's this one? Green yellow by uh, Pebio. And then I have fluorescent magenta by Golden. And then I have the new Prism Pour by Color Art for my gold. It is almost, it is pretty much identical, maybe a little bit darker than the 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Absolutely love it. Uh, I have a coupon to save 20% off, sold by the same company that makes primary elements and resin art. So I have that Egyptian coin Prism Pour color. And then for my base, I'm going to do a split color, uh, half white and half turquoise green, which it's more greener than what it's showing up on camera. Right now it looks very blue, but it's, it's green. Okay. I have to give a shout out to Canela Sirocco art. She inspires me. Her paintings are absolutely gorgeous. And this is what's making me want to do one of these split pours again. She did a color explosion yesterday that just got my, my heart thumping, my feet rocking. I have to try it out. So that's what we're going to do today. I'll be right back and we will start the show. All right, so I went and put my base coat down first just to get that out of the way. So it's just time consuming. I know that looked weird in film and camera, but uh, so I have my base coat down and what I'm going to do now is pour the colors across the center. I'm gonna say this M1 is making the paint feel very fluffy and light and it's really blowing around nicely on the canvas so i found this at sherman williams but somebody told me that you can also find it at uh home depot or maybe lowe's probably online somewhere too i looked on amazon but i couldn't find it on there but um yeah i i'm actually liking the way the paint feels so first what i'm going to do i'm going to start with the darkest color which is the prussian blue and i'm just going to go right across the center of that divider. Make sure I have enough paint so that I can blow it in both directions, but I don't want too much. I'm very excited to see how this turned out. Again, I want to mention Canela Sirocco. Please check her out if you have never seen her before. Uh, we are trying to help each other uh, grow and she just does amazing, amazing work. I highly suggest checking her out. And then there was the Pepio Green Blue, which is a very pretty color. I'm going to add just a little bit more. <laughs> I can actually hear her saying now to me, Canela, Tammy, don't put too much paint. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to put down the green yellow. Yeah, that color explosion she did was really, really beautiful. The prettiest one I've ever seen, that's for sure. There's that one. This is the bright aqua green. 
I know a lot of the colors look the same, but I'm counting on that fluorescent magenta to really kick it up a notch, okay? So I'm going to put down my gold next, my Egyptian coin, I should say, prism pour. And my magenta, fluorescent magenta by gold, and I absolutely love it. Hopefully it doesn't get lost. All right, so for the rest of this, I'm going to put it on mute and talk to you through the microphone. Right, so this is really crazy looking, <laughs> but we did get some cells and some lacing. Let me just show it to you. Very, very odd. Like I said, though, the paint was nice and fluffy, and look at, I mean, so it definitely does work. And I'm going to show you the other painting that is drying, that's drying fine. It's just, like I said, it's not the best looking painting. But we got some nice bursts of color in this one too. So here's the one from the last video, as you can see. I mean, it dried perfectly fine no issues with cracking or anything like that so i guess it's a go so if you enjoyed the video please hit subscribe like comment don't forget to check out my facebook group united we pour with tammy and lisa i run that with lisa wyatt art it's a great place to show your art make new friends and just you know converse with people that have something in common with you that you like to do uh, don't forget to check out Canela Sirocco art and her beautiful Dutch pours and tell her I said hi. And um, don't forget, it's Amazon Prime Day. And the best way to support your favorite artist is to go to Amazon using their YouTube link. So for those of you that already do that, I thank you very, very much. And for those of you that are going to do that, I thank you very much. So we shall see how this turns out. Stay tuned for the next video. I shall show it to you, my friends. And I have a really, really awesome resin video coming out. A new product is on the market and I am over the moon about it. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell to get notified when that video releases. I love you all dearly and happy pouring.